I am very excited to be speaking with Representative Veronica Escobar of Texas's 16th Congressional District. Representative Escobar serves on the Armed Services Committee, the Judiciary Committee, the Ethics Committee, and the Select Committee on the Climate Crisis. Welcome, Re Representative. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. Hi, Amanda. So good to be with you. Thanks so much for the opportunity. So the Congressional App Challenge's mission is to inspire middle and high school students to learn to code and pursue careers in STEM and computer science. Why do you think students should participate in the challenge? Great question. And um, we frequently talk to students and to schools about why they should do it. And really, primarily, it's fun. It is a great way, a great opportunity to experiment and to uh, try something that I think a lot of kids really enjoy, which is coding, but it's, it's, uh, it's done in a fun, competitive way. It also is a wonderful way to work with groups and you meet, I've talked to kids who've told me about the, winning the app challenge. Now this is pre-COVID, um, when they've gotten to meet kids from all over the country um, and get to learn new things, but I really think it's a lot of fun for our young people and would encourage all of them to try it. And we have students of all coding abilities participating in the challenge. Do you have any advice for students who are interested in the challenge? Absolutely. Number one, don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid that it's going to be too scary or too hard. Um, so that's number one. Number two, work with your teacher and work with those folks around you who can help you and help answer questions. And if there are any, you know, moments of doubt or any really difficult moments along the way, there are such great teachers who are so supportive. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And you've been hosting the App Challenge since 2019. What would you say is your favorite memory of interacting with the students who take part in the challenge? Oh, I have so many great memories um, and so privileged to have been able to meet these brilliant young people. But I think my favorite part has been going into the schools, talking with the teachers um, and, and really kind of seeing their brilliance in action. You know, right there, live in front of me, um, how their coding works and, and hearing them explain it to me and just see the sense of pride not just among the students, but the sense of pride from their teachers. And why do you think early intervention in STEM and computer science is so important? You know, from a selfish perspective, it is imperative that we do everything that we can as a country to cultivate more interest in STEM. We simply do not have enough professionals in the STEM field. And if we want to have a competitive edge, if we want to continue to be a country of innovators, of entrepreneurs, of great thinkers, we have to cultivate that from a, a very early age. So in many respects, it, it comes from very selfish purposes um, to help keep America competitive. But also, you know, when I think about the kids in my district, the, the families that I represent, I want them ultimately to have great jobs with great salaries. I want them to build wealth. I want them to be able to achieve their greatest dreams. And STEM really is one of those areas, one of those professional areas where the opportunities for higher income are greater. So selfish purposes for me as an American, but also um, I really see STEM as a pathway for success for um, my constituents and their kids. And along those lines, do you think there are any long-term benefits for hosting this app challenge? I hope that over the long term, more and more kids enjoy it and they help spread the word. And so hopefully that then builds momentum and gets more kids interested in participating. Hopefully the competition becomes even more fierce and the kids push themselves even further. But ultimately the best end result would be that we would have more kids in the district interested in pursuing STEM as a career. Now, the switch to online learning this past year revealed the significant digital divide across the country. How do you think Congress should address this digital divide? In my district, which is mostly urban, but also has some pockets of rural communities, 
the digital divide has impacted urban and rural families. So in, in, the, in the urban area, we have some very deeply economically disadvantaged households without access to broadband. In the rural areas, because they are so far out, um, many of those families and children didn't have access to broadband. Congress really needs to treat broadband and access to the internet in a way that we treat every other utility, just as access to electricity, access to water, uh, access to fundamental heating and cooling is something fundamental to ensuring basic quality of life. We have to include broadband in that mix as well. And the App Challenge is a bipartisan initiative with support from both Republicans and Democrats. So why do you think members, regardless of their political affiliation, should host App Challenges within their districts? You know, I think in part, it's a way for us to connect with our young people and to show them that we care about them. And that I think is universal in Congress, whether and actually whether you're in um, the Capitol in Washington, DC, or whether you're in state capitals or county commissioners rooms or city councils, most public servants want to ensure that their young people, their youngest constituents know that we care about them and, and create opportunities for them. That's great. Now, what is your favorite app on your phone? Oh my gosh. Well, on days that I'm traveling, it's the airline app that <laughs> tells me whether my flight has been delayed, um, where my gate is. Um, you know, useful apps like that are really great. But the other one is my health app, the one that tells me how many steps I've walked in a day. Um, it helps keep me on my toes, no pun intended, mm -hmm. um, so that I keep pushing myself to hopefully get more exercise on days when I'm feeling uh, energetic. And is there a piece of technology that excites you? You know, I, I, hmm. I don't know that there's necessarily a piece of technology that excites me per se, but I do think that Congress has an incredible role to play in making sure that we continue to be fostering innovation in our country. We need to be leading the way. We need to make sure that we maintain a competitive edge. And technology is key to that. And I think um, my hope is, is that, that we begin to also see technological advancements in areas that help improve our lives, like combating the climate crisis, as an example, um, and, and using technology in ways that better our planet. And um, that's actually what does excite me. Well, Congresswoman, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. And to our viewers, remember the 2021 Congressional App Challenge is live, so students can register and submit their apps between now and November 1st. Thank you. Thank you all.